Hi, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Miss. Hello, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, everyone? Good evening, welcome. Diana, Maria, Padilla, welcome. We have Betsaida, Fatima, Germán, David, welcome. Claudia Carolina, Selena. William is connecting right now. Andrea de Los Angeles, welcome. Thank you. How are you guys? It's good to see you one more time. You ready to continue? Of course. Of course, right, as always. That's very nice, great. Okay, to continue with our topic. Remember yesterday we were with the risk and there are, and we had like some quantifiers to express mm -hmm. existence. Good All night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome, William. How are you? I will have problems. I couldn't be like, uh, I don't know, a classmates, normal, normal classmates. I will be like a hearing. Ah, okay. You would be like a listener. You have yeah, some listener, issue, excuse me. Yeah. issues with the audio, maybe? Something like this, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for informing me. I will come. Good to see you guys. Okay. So continuing with yesterday's topic, we have an exercise here. And let me explain you how it's going to be. We're going to speak here, but we're going to give examples here depending on the noun. We're going to include there is a or there is an, and we mention the place. For example, here we have in the case of singular. There is a restaurant in my neighborhood. So that in my neighborhood is where, right? It's referring to the place in front of the library. So we're going to remember right now the area of our neighborhood or our town. Another example here will be with the plural. There are some, there are some pharmacies near Centro Histórico. So if you have visited Centro Historico, we know that there are some pharmacies, right, around there. In the negative case, for the form of singular, for example, there isn't a discotheque in my town, or plural. Remember in the plural, to put emphasis, we can use any for the plural case. There aren't any bars in my neighborhood. Now you're going to give more examples. Can you begin by Saida, please? Give us one. The one that you prefer can be singular, can be plural, can be affirmative or negative. Uh, singular. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Remember about well, your neighborhood. Um, there is a... Pupuseria. <laughs> ah, right. That's very good. That is the name, exactly. There is a there pupuseria, is a pupuseria in, in my neighborhood. Aha, uh -huh. okay. It is in front of my house. Hey, that's very convenient, girl. <laughs> you are a very good customer, I imagine. How often do you buy pupusas? Every Saturday, every day? <laughs> every day. <laughs> wow, you are a pupusa lover. You are a real Salvadorian. <laughs> right, thank you, Betsaida. Very good job, nice. Yeah, let's see, Diana. Hi, Diana. Andrea, Andrea de Los Angeles. Hello. Your teacher. Hi, Diana. And Andrea, sorry. Can you give us another example? Remember about your neighborhood and give us an example. About okay. a place. Okay. Um, there is a for pharmacy. All right. Mm -hmm. There is a pharmacy in my neighborhood. Very good. Uh, next to it's next to it's next to the the bookstore. Hey, that's all right. Excellent. That's nice. Thank you. That's all right. Great. Okay. Now let's see, Margarita. Hi, teacher. Hey, hey, girl. Welcome. Thank you. Um, there is a school mm -hmm. across from the bank. Yeah, cars from the bank. That's good. Really good job. Excellent. Thank you. Fatima, another example. Uh, 
think there is a um, supermarket in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give us another reference. Another um, specific reference. Next to next to in pharmacy. Next to the pharmacy. All right. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue, Germán. Germán, are you present? No. Okay, let's see. Roberto. Roberto Carlos. <clears throat> no. Ever? Is not present, Ever? Zulma? Either? Hi. Yes. Hi, Zulma. Welcome. One more example, please. <clears throat> There is a uh, in front of there is a school. I'm sorry. There is a what is the place? Uh, there is my house is in front of the school. Uh, mention there about the location, the place. For example, if you say. There is a university in front of my house, for example. Or there is a restaurant next to my house. <clears throat> there is a school. Mm -hmm. There is a school. Is in front of my house. My house, that's right. Thank you, that's good. David, David Moises. David, are you present? Selena? <clears throat> yes, please. Yes. Give us an example, please. Um, <clears throat> there is a church. Ah, good. There is a church? In front of my house. In front of my house. That's all right. Good one. Daisy. There is a drugstore a drugstore a drugstore in the corner in the corner of um el calvario uh -huh. el calvario ah. avenue ah okay that's nice so it's in the corner of the avenue that's the area right that you got it thank you good one wilfredo hey welcome boy Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. Hey, good, good evening. evening. Welcome. Can Thank you give you. us another one, please? Another example. Uh, Use the resource there are with directions. Uh, which one, teacher? The one that you prefer. Can be singular, can be plural, negative, or affirmative. Uh, affirmative. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> <clears throat> You can use there is a, it's like here, there is a restaurant in my neighborhood, in front of the library. It's in, um, next to my house. Um, mm -hmm. There is a, um, there is a gas station. Um, um, on Main Street. On Main Street. On Main Street, uh, uh, in my town. <laughs> in my town. Okay, that's good. You're being like in that area. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Okay, we got this one. Jennifer, enjoy your meal. <laughs> Jennifer. Can you yes. give us another one? Hello, Jennifer. Give us another example, please. Qual teacher? The one that you prefer. Select one. Affirmative, negative, plural, or, or the form of plural. The one that you prefer. Mm. Where is... Um, there is. There is. 
There is um uh -huh. No sé. <laughs> Remember in your neighborhood there are different places, right? Maybe a store, maybe a pharmacy, a church, a gas station, a workshop probably. Um Mm -hmm. Ayúdeme a conjugar la, la oración. Ok. Uh -huh. If it's affirmative, you can use there is. There is. Uh -huh. a, this is an example. Imagine that in your neighborhood there is a restaurant. It's the existence of a restaurant. And you say, there is a restaurant in my neighborhood, in front of the library. So you give the direction of the place. If there is a pupusería, for example, Besaida say that in. In front of her house, there is a pupuseria. <laughs> mm. It goes every day. <laughs> there is a shop. Okay. A shopping center? Yes. All right. There is a shopping center in my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> neighborhood. In my neighborhood. In the neighborhood. All right, thank you. That's good. Okay, very good. Now, Wendy. Who, Wendy, teacher? Oh, yes. Uh, Wendy Rodriguez. Okay. Uh, my example is there is a um, clinic. Ah, very good. There is a clinic. One, one how do you say quadra? High block? Block. Block. On the block. On the block, uh -huh. in front. Mm -hmm. Okay. In front of? The bank. The bank. Very good. Thank you. Nice. Okay. Now let's see. Wendy Adamaris. Wendy Adamaris, are you present? Hello, girl. Oh, okay. Uh, remember yesterday that we were studying about the reasons there are? Yeah, she has problems with connection. Okay, Sandy. Sandy Roxana. Sandy. Germán. Claudia, what about Claudia? Yes. Hey, Claudia, can you give us another example, please? I need you that teacher. Sure, yes. Remember yesterday that we studied about the reason there are that express existence, but you can include about directions, the places. Mm. It can be singular. If you refer to one place, like there is a restaurant in my neighborhood in front of the library. So you locate the area. Or if it's plural, there are some pharmacies near Centro Histórico. That would be plural. Mm. Uh, there is... Uh -huh. There is... There is... A spa in... Ah, that's good. I... Colonia, ¿cómo se dice? Neighborhood. Na neighborhood. Good. So there is a spa in my neighborhood. There is, is my. There is a spa. There is a spa in, in my neighborhood. My neighborhood. 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 That's all right. Good one. Nice. Great. Thank you. Okay. Now let's check here. Another reference that we have. Something important to mention is about pronunciation in the reduction of there is and there are. And here it says, when we have a question, is there a bank near here? In the affirmative answer, if this one is short, then we can include, yes, there is. Now, when the answer is complete, then it's necessary to use a contraction or not. So you have the two possibilities. But when it's short, is necessary to give complete, like, yes, there is. So cannot be, yes, there's, unless that you use complete answer, right? Like, there's one on First Avenue. This one is in the case of the singular. In the case of the plural, are there any coffee shops around here? Yes, there are. There are some on Pine Street. 
Now, if you observe here, with the plural form, it's incorrect to use a contraction. We cannot say there, right? But we can try to pronounce it quickly. But when you write it or when you spell it, it's correct to use it complete, like there are. There are some on Pine Street. That's in the case of some pronunciation reference that we have. Let's see. Yes, Herman has problems with the audio. All right. Thank you for informing, guys. Yes. Okay, we got another exercise here. The one we're going to practice it. He says, take turns asking and answering questions with another pair about the neighborhoods. If you don't know about a place your new partner asks about, answer, sorry, I don't know. Who gets more yes answers? So let's have, it's a short conversation here. Is there a gym in your neighborhood? Yes, there's one across from the park. Are there any coffee shops? No, there aren't any in our neighborhood. Is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? Sorry, I don't know. Yeah, because there are some of the places that we don't know, right? Maybe you don't go very frequently by those areas. Now, first, let's check here. Do you have new vocabulary in this conversation? Questions? All right, now let's practice this conversation first. And then we are going to ask more with this model. Let's begin. Raquel, can you listen, Raquel? Yes. Yes. Sir. Hey, Raquel. Okay, can you begin, please? Yes. Is there a gym in your neighbor? Neighborhood? Uh, sí. Is there a gym in your na neighborhood? Very good. Thank you. Pablo, are you present, Pablo? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you please continue? Yes. Yes. There's one across from the park. Very good job. Nice. Thank you. Roberto? Yes. Are there, are are there, there? any, any, co any coffee, coffee shops? Shop? That's right. Thank you. That's good. David? David, can you listen to us? All right, Jennifer? Jennifer? Eric? Many parts are raining, right? I think there are problems with that. Brenda, can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yeah? okay, continue, please. No, there aren't any in our neighborhood. That's all right. Great. Thank you. Okay, Daisy, continue, please. Is there a bookstore in your neighborhood? That's all right. Thank you. Sandy. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. No, very good job. Nice. Okay, now let's create, let's uh, personalize this question. For example, if I ask you, uh, Selena, is there a restaurant in your neighborhood? You answer. If it's affirmative, you respond. If not, you say, sorry, I don't know. Or no, there isn't. Is there a restaurant? Okay, sorry, I don't know. Very good job, nice. Okay, Claudia. Yes. All right, Claudia, are there any pupuserias in your neighborhood? We have plural case. Uh -huh. Are there any pupuserias in your neighborhood? Is it affirmative or negative? Um, affirmative. Okay, Sende, you can answer. Yes, there are. 
Yes, there are. Uh -huh. Good. Now, if you want to use a quantifier, you could say, yes, there are some pupuserias. Or yes, there are, if it's a short answer. Yes, there are. Good. Yeah. Okay. Daniela, tell me, is there a museum in your neighborhood? No, there are. No? There isn't. No, there isn't. Very good, Joe. That's great. Nice. Okay. Now, remember that you got the exercise on the platform, 3.4, that depending on the direction, right, that you have. Now, let's go ahead on your next objective. Wendy, can you please read the objective? Okay, teacher. Uh, in this section, participate will follow a conversation about a neighborhood talking into a common question, like how many, how much, with quantitative quantifiers. Quantifier. That's right. Thank you so much. Good. Okay. So now let's watch the video. Count nouns and non count. No problem with the video? No problem. No. Yes. Okay. No. no All right. Thank you. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a neighborhood. Hi again. This time we'll study how many and how much. Please notice how they ask questions and how they answer them. Remember, count nouns and non-count nouns make the difference. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. All right, so let's check. This conversation is, it's pretty safe. Remember that here we have an adjective that is safe. Always that use pretty before an adjective, and it means very. So it's very safe. So that's a conversation between Nick and Pom. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garage, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. And it's very safe, right? <laughs> Somebody's trying to get in the car. Tell me, do you have new vocabulary? Noise. Which one? Noise. Oh, noise. Uh, who says that, Nick or Pam? Oh, this one, right? Uh, Yes. Is there much noise? Noise is, for example, everything is very silent, but the contrary of silent is noise. In the city, there is excessive noise because of the cars, the buses. I'm sorry? Ruido. Ruido. Uh -huh. Ruido. Is there much noise? Ruido. Miss? I'm sorry, which one? Give me. Yes, tell me. Very safe. There isn't. Or which one? 
she said pretty safe. Oh, pretty safe. It means very safe. Muy seguro. Okay. So that there is a lot of security. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other one? <clears throat> what is what is the meaning of in fact? In fact, it means in reality. De hecho. En realidad. That is in fact. Ah, okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Crime. Is crime. There much crime. Oh, is there much crime? crime? Crimen. Is there much crime? Like delinquency. Illegal things. That's crime. Is there much crime? All right, let's begin with the practice of the conversation. Let's see, Roberto Carlos, can you begin, please? How do you like? Your How do you new... like? How do you How like? How do you like? Your new, your new, your new apartment. 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 Very good. Thank you. Continue, Freddy. I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. 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 Very good. Thank you, Daniela. Downtown is very much nice. Right. Very good. Thank you, Margarita. Oh, no. There isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. Very good. Yeah. Nice. Good one. Claudia. How many rest restaurants are there near your place? <coughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. Thank you. Continue then, Wendy. A lot. A lot, in yeah. fact. There's, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Very good job. Thank you. Jennifer. Jennifer, are you there? Sulma? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's continue, please. Okay. Uh, what about uh, parking? What about parking? Yes, that's correct. Good one. Maria, continue, please. Well. Well, there aren't many parking garage, but... I usually find a place in the street. On the street. On the street, yes. Very good. The Thank street. you. That's good. Sandy. Is there mass crime? Crime? Crime. That's Sorry. right. Thank you. Good one. Selena. No, it's very safe. For all... Hold on. That, oh, oh, oh. That's my car alarm. It's called you back later. I'll I'll call you. Oh, I call you back later. Later. That's all right. Good. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin again. Betsaida, you are the first. How do you like how do you like your new apartment? Right. Thank you. Wilfredo. Uh... I love it. It's downtown. So it's very convenient. 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 Nice. Thank you. Daisy. Downtown. Is there much noise? Thank you. That's good. All right. Let's see. Raquel. Oh, okay. So right now. The problems, right? Yes, she has problems with that. Pablo? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. That's right. Thank you. Andrea? Uh, how many restaurants are there near your place? Great. Place. Thank you. Nice. Thanks. David? David? Margarita? Uh, 
Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot. In fact, there, there is an excellent Korean place just around the corner. Right. Good one. Okay. Daniela. What's about parking? Thank you. Roberto. Roberto Carlos. Roberto? No. Fatima? Yes. Well, there aren't many parking garage. But uh, usually, usually, usually find a place on the street. Very good. Thank you. Let's continue, Maria. No. Uh, excuse me. Is there, Is there much, much crime? Much. much crime. Crime. Good one. Crime. Let's continue, Freddy. No, it's a pretty state. Hold on. What is my car alarm? I tell you back later. Later. Very good job. That's nice. Great. Okay, so observe that here we have as questions, we also have the form of there is, we have there are as affirmative or as in negative. Now, there are also some of the quantifiers. Quantifiers are the ones that we used, well, to count, right? We know that there are some of the nouns that are possible to say one, two, three specific numbers. But there are others that we cannot count. For example, if you talk about milk, incorrect to say, for example, two milks, right? Three milks. We can count the glasses of milks. We can count like uh, the liters, the cartoons of milk. But the liquids, liquids in general, cannot be counted. But there are some other nouns that are possible to count, two, three, like the apples, right? We can count them. We can say a number in a specific. What about the case of money? Literally, the word or the noun money is uncountable. Two monies, no, right? Five monies, three monies, no. But we can count a specific quantities like two dollars, ten cents, two millions, thousands. So we have other quantifiers here. How do we apply them? That is depending on the noun that we are going to use. So let's verify here. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. And we have some of them. We got the quantifier, the meaning, countable noun, uncountable noun. The check in green, that means that you can count. Or the red cross, it means we cannot count. The first quantifier is liter. Liter, in this case, we just use it for a noun. We cannot count. For example, if we talk about, we were mentioning about milk, eh, water, any other noun that is not possible to count, to say one, two, three. What's any other one? What's another noun you cannot give with numbers? Oil. Oil, exactly. What else? Please. Juice. Uh -huh. We can talk about juice, like orange juice, apple juice, right? All of those, yes, they are liquids. Contamination also is not countable, right? So we can say liter contamination, right? That's why it says a small, minor. It's referring to a small quantity. But... Is a noun that you cannot count. For that reason, is here. It's non-countable noun. Another quantifier is few. This one is referring to a small quantity or a slight. A small quantity, but a noun that is possible to count. Now, this one is at, at the contrary, right? Nouns are possible to count. For example, fruits. What else? Cars. What else is possible to count? Eggs. Eggs, very good. What else? Beans. Orange. Beans. Very good. Orange, nice. What else? Money. Money in a specific quantity, right? Like dollars. Dollars, cents, millions, thousands. What about a lot of? A lot of is referring to a large number or amount. Large, that makes a big quantity, right? A lot of something. Now, we can use it with count noun, 
but also with non-count nouns because you can express a big quantity of a noun you cannot count or a big quantity of a noun that is possible to count. For example, if you say a lot of sugar, a lot of money, a lot of people, a lot of children, a lot of students, a lot of teachers, a lot of topics is a big quantity. A lot of gasoline, a lot of oil, a lot of coffee. So that's to express only a big quantity. Many is another quantifier. Just but with this one is very numerous. That means it's also a big quantity. You can substitute a lot of using many. Just that with many is only with count nouns, only with the plural form. Cannot be used with non count. So we cannot say, or it's incorrect to say, many coffees, many waters, but you can count the specific quantities like many glasses of water, many bottles, many liters of water, many cups of coffee, many, many teaspoons of sugar. Much, in the case of much, well, it's another quantifier, is expressing like a lot of, but in the case of and count noun cannot be used with plural. So that's the opposite than many. It's a big quantity, but of a noun, you cannot count. N is for questions and negative. It's not for affirmative form. Other quantifiers will be any, the ones that we were practicing yesterday for a negative. Any, remember it's referring nothing. So that's zero of certain quantity. And this one is possible for count nouns, but also for uncount nouns, just that you use for questions and negatives. So it's not for affirmative. Lots of, lots of is the same as a lot of, just that if you use lots of, then you don't need to use like a lot, like a lots of, no, you substitute. A lot of, that means a lot of. Lots of people or a lot of people. For two cases, count noun and uncount noun. With some, with some, we don't have like a definite or a specific quantity of something. We used to referring that is a certain amount, a certain quantity of something. It can be count noun or uncount noun. Now, this one is just an introduction. Let's see another form. We have much, many, few, and little. Large quantity, big amount, big quantity of something. For countable or uncountable, we can use a lot of or lots of. They are synonyms. Can be for affirmative, occasionally negatives and interrogative, yeah. Actually, with a lot of, this one is very flexible because you can use for affirmatives, negatives, questions, and answers. There's no problem here. The only thing here is that is to express a big quantity. Now, always for a large quantity or big quantity, you use many for negative, interrogatives, occasionally affirmative, so it's not very common to see in affirmatives. For example, I don't have many exercises. This one will be negative. But many is also flexible. It's a big quantity, but in the case of you can use affirmative, you can use negatives, questions. Can we use many for uncount nouns? Can we? Is it correct to use many with a noun you cannot count, like many water, for example? Many coffee? Many co incorrect. No. Incorrect, right? Incorrect. Yeah, that's correct. For that, we can use much because it's non-countable. So with many, we use with the plural referring to a big quantity, like many books. What else? Another example, you can use many? Many good coffee. 
Many cups of coffee, excellent, because in that case you are counting by the recipient, not the liquid. That's very good, nice. Okay, what about Many what? drink water. Many bottles of water. water. Many bottles of uh, water, many drinks of water. That's all right too. Now, much, it will be the non-count form of many. It can be for negative and interrogative, but never for affirmative. So it's incorrect to say, I have much money today. I am going to earn much money in the company. Not for affirmative. It's referring to negatives and interrogatives. For example, how much milk is there? So you're also combining to investigate the quantity. So there is a lot of milk, if, if it will be an answer. Now, with a small quantity, we use few. Also, you can use a few. Few people know the truth about his difficulties. So that few is referring to a small quantity. Liter, a small quantity, but it's a noun. We cannot count. For example, my grandmother drinks liter wine. That means very minimum quantity of wine. Only occasionally. That's just some of the examples that we have here. Any question so far? No, means no. no. We're going to pass the list. Let me know that you are present, guys. Right, let's begin with Claudia Carolina. Present. Thank you, Claudia. Raquel Esther. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Marvin Vitalicio. Marvin Vitalicio. Andrea de Los Angeles. I'm here. Thank you, Andrea. Brenda Carolina. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Daisy Estefania. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Jean Millet. Present teacher. Thank you, Diana. Fatima Larisa. I'm here. Thank you so much. Julia Margarita. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Adamaris. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. William Alexander. William. He said he reported problems with the audio. Okay. I'm here. I'm here. You, there. you can listen. Okay. Thank you, William. Maria Mercedes. Maria Mercedes. Present. Present Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Wilfredo Alberto. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Wilfredo. Zulma Natividad. I'm present. Thank you, Zulma. Sandy Roxana. Present. Thank you. Wendy Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Wendy. Pablo Alejandro. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Pablo. Jennifer Saraí. Present. Thank you, Jennifer. Freddy Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Betsaida Yasmin. Present teacher. Thank you, Betsaida. Estela Guadalupe. Estela Guadalupe. I saw Estela there connected. David Moises. David Moises. Daniela Beatriz. Present. Thank you so much. Ever Yaciel. Ever. Germán Ulises. Germán Ulises. Yeah, they reported problems too with connection. Okay. Eric Ronaldo. Present, Victor. Thank you, Eric. Roberto Carlos. 
Present. Thank you, Roberto. And Selena Jamilet. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. All right, let's continue with our session. Okay, so we are here with some quantifiers here as a general form. Now, let's have a short video that we got here with more examples of this. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, so let's see. Quantifiers that are mentioned on the video are the ones we saw at the beginning. For example, count nouns quantifiers, the ones we say that are possible to count. We can use a lot or a lot of. We can use a few, many, any, in the case of negative or a question, and also none that is referring to zero things or nothing of something. With the non-count quantifiers, we can use also a lot or a lot of. We can use a liter, that's referring to a small quantity, but nouns, remember, you cannot count. We can use much. Now, remember when we use much, in what situations we can use much. When we pay or save. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we can use like use that. Money? I'm sorry? Can we use money? If we use money, correct. But for mm -hmm. uh, questions and like negative. 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 Uh -huh. negative and interrogative. And interrogative, that's correct. So no for affirmative. If you want to express a big quantity of a noun, you cannot count, we can use a lot of. So a lot of money. I saved a lot of money last year, but never I saved or I have much money. That would be incorrect in the grammar. Now, any for questions and negatives, never for affirmative. If you use for affirmative, then it brings a different context. With none, we know that is nothing of something. But let's have here some of the examples. There is a volcano near my house. Okay, here we're referring to only one, only one volcano. Now, who has a volcano near the house? Do you live near a volcano? No? Nobody has a volcano near the house? If you live in El Boquerón, for example? Yes, All right. El Boquerón. Do, do you live yes, near El Boquerón? Yes, it's a, like a kind of cold area, right? Very fresh area to live. <clears throat> so there is a volcano near your house. 
Very good. Okay. Now, another one. What do you think? There are a lot of beaches in El Salvador. And we know there are a lot of beaches, right? So, there <clears throat> is a big quantity of beaches. What beaches can you mention? El Mahawal. What else? The Conchalillo. Conchalillo. Costa del Sol. Conchalillo, Costa del Sol. Very good. Any other one? El Tamarindo. El Tamarindo. Where is El Tamarindo? La Libertad. El Mahawal. El Mahawal. Ajá. That's another one. Any other one? Los El Tunco. Actually, this is the picture, right? Oh, bueno. El Tunco. Sunsal. Sunsal. Ajá. El Sunsal. That's good. What about El Espino? Have you ever gone to El Espino? Fly El Espino? El Cuco. El Cuco. Where is El Cuco? In San Miguel, right? No. In San Miguel. Ah, yes. San Miguel. In San Miguel, right? So you Las see? Flores. Ajá. Which one? Las Flores. Las Flores. Is that a name of another beach? Yes. Ah, really? Where is that? In which department? I don't remember. I don't remember. Do you remember the place? Okay. It's the first no. time that I hear about Las Flores as, as the beach. I have heard like La Ruta de Las Flores, but it's another place, right? No, but I think there is, I don't, I'm not sure, it's, but it's maybe a name of a Santa Ana, Santa but I'm Ana. not sure. Okay, good one. Nice, great. So as you see, you have mentioned only some of the beaches we have in El Salvador because we have a lot of, or many, we have many beaches in El Salvador. Now, as a question, are there waterfalls in our country? Waterfalls. Do you recognize this waterfall? Is it similar, right? Yes. Ajá. Can I you identify? Chorros de la Galera. De la Algo. Galera. Ajá, Chorros de la Calera, right? Where is it? Where is it located? Huayua. In Huayua, yes. Son yeah, Sonsonate, that's... Yeah. Sonsonate, right? Is in Sonsonate? And it's very cold, really cold, as if you want to swim there or get into those waters. My God, yes, it's really, really cold. Now, let's mention here, and tell me about lakes. Which lakes do you know in El Salvador? For example, Coatepeque, Coatepeque. that's one lake. Uh -huh. What's another one? Another lake? Ilopango. Ilopango. Apulo. Ilopango. Ah, Apulo. True. Suchitlán. Suchitlán. What was the other one, Sulma? Apastepeque. Apastepeque. And where is that located? San Vicente. San Vicente. Okay, nice. So now you can mention there, right, that we have a lot of lakes. So they are not a few. Because a few, they can be like three or four, right? But a lot of that will be a, a big quantity. What about rivers? Are there rivers in our country? Lempa. Lempa, very good. Lempa is one. Any other one? Iboa River. Iboa River, very good. Another one? Zumpul. Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Uh -huh. <laughs> Aselguate. We have five already, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So long river. The most well, clear. The, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's true. The clearest river in El Salvador. Also, Colón. My God. No, it's so dirty. It looks like horchata. <laughs> now, in Zumpul, very historic place, right? Very historic, actually. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> what about if you mention malls? Are there a lot of malls? In El Salvador, what malls can you mention? Plaza Mundo. Plaza Mundo, very good. What else? Metro Centro. Centro Centro, very popular, actually, yes. Galerías. Galerías, very good. Multiplaza. Multiplaza, we have La more. Gran Vía. La Gran Vía, we got five. What else? Plaza Venecia. Plaza Venecia, where is that? Is that in San Salvador? Okay. In Soyapango, okay, very good. Any other one? Plaza Merliot. Plaza Merliot, that is true, it's very old actually. Plaza Merliot, it has a lot of time, right, to exist. Very good. Any other one? 
La joya. La joya. Ah, yes. That, this one is way to, way to the beach, right? It's when you yeah. go to La Libertad. Exactly. Uh, that's La Joya. Yeah, that's true. Any yeah. other one? I'm sorry? La, la Cara. cara. Mm, okay, we got nine there. Any other one? Metro Santa Ana, mm, right? Las Cascadas. Las Cascadas, yes. Unicentro. Unicentro Lourdes. So what do you consider? We have a few malls in El Salvador or many? <clears throat> many. We have many, right? Because it's many. a big quantity. Mm. It's not a small quantity, actually, right? So there are many. It's a big quantity of those. Now, other things. Tell me another example. In the ones you are going to use, a lot of. You use a lot of. A lot of. What is something that you can use a lot of? But plural, plural noun. Pupusarias. Very gas good. Gas stations. Gas stations. Very good. Which gas Pharma stations do we Pharmacy. have? Pharmacies. Very good. Which gas stations do we have? Puma. Texaco. 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 Uno. DLC. VIP. DLC. Okay. VIP. I say, what's that one? I said. <laughs> DLC, you are right. Yes, I have seen it. Yes, very good. Any other one? In second place, Shell. Oh, Shell. Does it still exist, Shell? Well, in the past, I remember the existed Shell. I but see now. In San Miguel. It, oh, in oh, San Miguel. Okay. Yes. So now there are a few Shell gas stations, right? Because it's not in all El Salvador. Very good. Now, use now about a few. What places have you seen that is a, a small quantity? A small quantity of what? Museums, for example, right? There are a few museums. What else? Yes. Uh -huh. What yeah. else? Library. Libraries, that is true. Sure. Yes, yeah. a few libraries. Yeah, because now with the Google, how many libraries, right? Any other? Theaters, that's good. Yes. Any other one? A zoo. A zoo. Ah, yes, that's true. Actually, supposedly the National Zoo disappeared, right? So there are a few zoos. That's good. Okay. Now tell me about a lot of, but with a noun, you cannot count. It can also be abstract nouns. For example, a lot of church. A lot of? Church. 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 But that one you can count. Pero es un montón. Uh huh. But you can count them. You can count the churches. Oh. Churches. Because they are like buildings, right? It's like a house that is possible to count them. Like how many churches are there in your neighborhood? Probably there are three. Can I the limit? You can have a limit. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, but it's possible to count. Because mm -hmm. the structure is like a house, a building. So it's possible to say one, two, three churches <laughs> or schools, right? That is possible to count them. So as we know, there are a lot of churches or there are many churches in El Salvador. We know that there are different religions. So there are many churches. It's not a few, cannot be a few. Maybe there are a few in our neighborhood. But if we count the ones that are in all El Salvador, oh, there are many. Or a lot of, right? You can also use like that. So what about, thank you. What about oh, a well, lot of teacher. water? You mean? A lot of. Yes. A lot of water. Yes. Okay. That's a noun you cannot count. Very good. Nice. A lot of water. What else? A lot of salt. 
the sugar. sound of the sea. Rice. A lot of rice. Uh -huh. What else you said? Sun. Oh, sun in sound. the sea. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is true. The sun in the sea is like, well, how to count down? It's like sugar and salt. Good Uh-huh. What else? The schools. Ah, that's countable. So it goes here. In the case of schools, is this one? A lot of beans. A lot of beans. All right. Yeah, because beans, actually, you can count them. But it's kind of contradictory, right? Because when you go to the store or supermarket, you don't go and say, hey, please give me 50 beans. Or I am going to eat 50 beans for dinner. <laughs> But as the grains that you have, they are kind of not, not very small, like the rice or like sugar and salt. So it's possible to count the, the grains of those. What about a liter? It's like the same case of here, right? Just that is for a, a small quantity. A lot of water, a little water, but minimum quantity of something. Same case as sugar. It can also the same case of rice or honey. Do you like to put a little honey on the pancakes? Do you like pancakes? I think everybody likes pancakes, right? Or waffles. I like it. <laughs> you love them? Yes, I love them. Actually, every Sunday I like to make waffles. And of course, I like to include the honey. Honey is not countable. We cannot say two honeys. I am going to eat two honeys. No, right? Maybe two teaspoons. Those will be like the specific quantity that you have to express the nouns. Now, what about much? Remember, negatives and and questions. And question. And question, correct. So not for affirmative case. Now, we're going to see more examples here tomorrow. We're going to formulate questions and we're going to give more, more information about this, all right? Question, guys? No questions about it? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to continue tomorrow then. I'll see you in the night tomorrow. Have a beautiful night. Sweet dreams. You too. Thank, Thank you, you so teacher. much, Thank guys. You, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so night. much. Night, Have a very nice night. night. Guys. I'll see you Thank tomorrow, you. guys. Thank you Thank so you, much. Miss. Thank you. Good, Good night, night, everybody. Take night. care. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Good night.